in here. Andre make you sleep in the living room again. Oh, he's gonna send me to an early grave. How did it get so late? Shoot, I gotta get out of here. Tasha? Tasha? Girl, what are you doing outside so early? Oh, I was getting some fresh air. Nothing gets me going like the smell of gum powder in the morning. Honey, my good blouse is hanging out on... I already ironed it for you, and I made Dion's lunch, and I started the coffee. Mm. Mama, look, I have to talk to you about something really important. Later, darling, right now. Just get him washed and dressed for Mama. me. Mama! Please. Please. Go on, Dion. Come on. Come on, Dion. Come on. She's not going to run out on you in her dumb bathrobe. <laughs> look at my baby. He looks so sweet when he's asleep. Hey! Get up! No, Mom, chill. Mom's I'm naked. So? I've seen everything you got. I made everything you got. But what did I tell you about making Dion sleep in the living rooms? Oh, come on, Ma. Ever since you got him, I ain't slept a wink. Every night he's making those noises. The foster place should have given you a warranty on him. Should have gotten a warranty on your pointy butt. Now get up! That's your problem. You always down on a brother. That's why you never have any dates. Man, I don't want any dates with no Nintendo playing, trash talking, pants hanging off their butt wearing underachievers such as yourself. I don't play Nintendo. Genesis John Madden Football 93. That's my game. Girls who actually go out with you? You better believe it. I do real well with the honey dips. You do what with the honey dips? Uh, I treat them with the utmost respect at all times. Boy, it's a wonder your lips don't fall off your face when you lie like that. <laughs> Mama, look, can I talk to you now? Tasha, throw these in the washing machine, will you? And honey, make sure that you run them on the, the delicate, delicate cycle. cycle. I yes. know, I know. Come on, Dion, take that. Come on. Eat up. Andre, will you pull up those pants, please? Nobody wants to see your rusty behind. <laughs> I need you to take Dion to school this morning. Hey, why can't you do it? It's right on your way to work. Or I could do it, because I go that way, too, so. <laughs> Yo, D, it's going to be me and you today. High five. Low five. How about you just sit there and do nothing? <laughs> yeah, that's my boy right there. Mama, look, can I talk to you now, please? Yes, baby, what is it? Okay, 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 see, there's this sweet cross-color jacket. I don't have it. But you don't even know what I'm gonna say. I know it's gonna end with give me some money. Yeah, well, Mama, see, this jacket is tall. Oh, man, that bitch is fine. Excuse me? Mama! Did I just hear you call someone a bitch? Oh, Ma, I didn't mean it like that. It's just an expression. You know, like girl, woman, bitch. <laughs> I see. They're all interchangeable. Is that it? Am I a bitch? Is your sister a bitch? Can I answer those separately? <laughs> hey, hey, chill, girl. How you know I meant you? Oh, I did meet him, Ma. <laughs> 
just better watch your mouth in my house, understand? Mama, look, can you let me finish now? See, this jacket's on sale at Oak Tree to Friday, 50% off. Fine. All you need now is the other 50%. Man, my daddy give me the money. Then get it from your dad. All you gotta do is find his trifling ass. <laughs> That's enough out of you. Hello? No, Vanessa, there's no one named Dre here. I do, however, have a son named Andre. Oh, uh, what's up? Why you tripping? You just keep it in your pants, boy. <laughs> I don't want you bringing home no little nappy-headed babies. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Ma. Vanessa's got a weave. <laughs> Got you on that one, didn't I? Hello, Vanessa. Hey, baby. <laughs> okay, Mama, look, I have a great idea. You don't have to give me the money. You can just loan it to me. You ain't with Mama. Mama, hey, are Vanessa. you listening to me? All I want to do is zoom, 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 in a boom, boom, boom. Hi, Vanessa. It's Andre's mother again. No, I'm not gone yet. Andre wants you to know he's a virgin. What? And plans to stay that way till he's 21. <laughs> That's right. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, 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 Vanessa? Oh, no, don't worry about that. You know she was just tripping, right? <laughs> Mars, what's up? What's up is that I'm not going to let you ruin your life by getting some little fast tell 16-year-old girl pregnant. Oh, come on, man, that was just talk. I don't have no privacy in this house. Get myself a beeper and I won't have this problem no more. A beeper? Boy, the day you get a beeper is the day after you become a doctor. Or a drug dealer. Shut up! Man, don't tell me Hey, look, girl, don't put up Everybody season. shut up! Now, you are not getting a beeper, and that is that. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yeah. I said, yeah. All right, shoot, I'm late. I gotta get out of here. So, Mama, look, what about my jacket? Baby, I told you, I don't have any money to loan you. Mom, what do you mean? Didn't you get paid Friday? It's none of your business when I got paid, little girl. Why are you being so selfish? Forget it. Okay, Dion. I will pick you up at 3 o'clock. You're having dinner with your mentor tonight, right? Yeah, Ray's right. coming over by 5.30. Then you bring your butt straight home after school. And when he drops you off, you bring your butt straight in the house. Is there anything else you like my butt to do? <laughs> Keep talking, and you're going to be digging my size 9 shoe out of it. Mrs. Mosley, come in. So, Terry Beaker speaks very highly of you. He said you're the real reason that L.A. Unified's been one of our top accounts. Heck, I knew he couldn't be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm curious, Mrs. Mosley. Why do you want to leave your job with the school district to become a sales rep for scientific supplies? Well, actually, I was laid off about a month ago. Part of all the budget cutbacks. Apparently, my $500 a week put them $20 million in the red. <laughs> <laughs> And how long had you been working as a purchasing manager there before they cut you loose? Thirteen years. Although I wasn't technically the purchasing manager, I was secretary to the purchasing manager. The okay. truth is, I practically ran the department. Hell, they could have fired him and kept me. They would have saved a lot more money. <laughs> oh, I see you attended USC. What did you earn your degree in? Well, actually, I had to drop out just a few credits short of a degree. Oh, how many? Oh, let's see. Um, one, two, approximately 116. <laughs> no, I had to drop out when my husband and I separated. Mm, well, Mrs. Mosley, I... Mr. Spain, I can do this job. I'm sure you can. Mr. Spain, I'm not the type to beg anyone for anything, but I've been out of work for over a month, and I'm down to my last dime. My kids don't even know what's going on. They think I'm at work right now. Please, just consider giving me this job. Look, I... Just like... consider it, please. Because what Terry Beaker told you was the truth. Okay. I'll consider it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's very considerate of you to consider it. <laughs> See, brother, by 
joining the Ujamaa Co-op, not only are you going to save on your food bill, but the money you do spend stays right here in our own community. And that, my brother, and that, my brother, is what last year's rebellion was really all about. Rebellion? Shoot. What went on here last year was a damn riot. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, brother, when, 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 when people resist a racist and oppressive power structure, hmm? It's a rebellion. Yeah, well, when they resist my damn car, it's a damn right. Now get out of my damn way. <laughs> damn Jesse Jackson wannabe. Huh? I'm going to need cash back. Sorry, I can't take your check. Why? Is the food free today? Ha, ha, no. <laughs> your name is on the return list. Joe Mosley, cash only. Honey, I don't care if my name is underlined, capitalized, and up in neon lights. I don't write bad checks. Don't get an attitude with me, lady. Well, then you get somebody else over here because I got an attitude and somebody's going to experience it. Mira, no empiece conmigo porque yo no juego, okay? Whatever. Damn, woman, you got busted. Now, pay the girl or, or get out the damn way. I'm going to miss my bus. Then why don't you take your food stamps to another line? Three no other <laughs> is there a problem here, sister? I am not your sister, and yes, there is a problem. I have been shopping here since you opened, while most people go buy from the white folks. I wish I had a gone and bought from the white folks. <laughs> and I think that I deserve better treatment than to be accused of bouncing a check when I know I didn't bounce any check. Her name is on the list. Was I talking to you? Was I talking to you? Damn, my bus just left. Get over it. Now, sister... Calm down. Rage is not the answer, my sister. Stop calling me sister. I think I'd remember if you lived in my mama's house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Mosley, but the check you wrote us on Monday was returned to us by your bank. Monday. See, there's the mistake. I know for a fact that your checks don't go in till the end of the week. Not anymore. Now we deposit the checks the same day we get them. Oh. Somebody needs some food stamps. I'm sorry I lost my temper. Mm-hmm. Look, if you'll just deposit that check again tomorrow, it'll be good. I promise. Okay, sister. And uh, I'll just pay cash today. No problem. No problem. Um... I'm going to have to put a few things back. Dion, go put those cookies back and we got them from baby. your brother. <laughs> Tasha, baby, get me the baking pan, will you? And then get these dishes cleaned up and put away, okay? Yeah, just like I do every other suit thing in the same place. Anything else? Want me to paint the house now? Now listen, I know you're upset about not getting your jacket. But that is no excuse for you to start acting a fool in my house. Do I make myself clear? It ain't even about the jacket, Mama. Do I make myself clear? Yes. May I go do my homework? Go. Come on, baby, eat your soup. Yo, D, 
What's up, little homie? Yeah. <clears throat> What's going on, Moss? Hold it. Back it up. So, how was your day today? Do anything special? Anything hype? Anything dope, my brother? No. My mother. <laughs> uh, look, Ma, I gotta go. Ray's gonna be here any minute, so I got... Wait, 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 wait. Just chill for a minute. Oh, man, I gotta get this watch fixed, man. Andre, how could you get a beeper, especially after I told you not to? Ma, I just wanted one. What the hell do you need a beeper for? Don't you turn your back on me, boy. What do you think I need it for? I don't know what to think. Now that you're going around sneaking behind my back, lying to my face, you could be up to any damn thing. What do you want? Ray, I'm sorry. Come in. Hi, Joan. Hey, Andre. My man. <laughs> I got us a couple of Kings tickets for the night. Say, Joan, uh, I brought you a little something. No big deal. Yeah, I just thanks. Thought... Put them anywhere. OK. <laughs> yeah, I'm up out of here. Hey, come on, let's go, Raymond. Good idea. You're not going anywhere. Bad idea. <laughs> Ma, why are you bugging? It's just a lousy old beeper. Andre, don't play me stupid. You know. Damn well, what kind of slime and scum carry around beepers? <laughs> Sorry, must be one of my patients. See, a lot of regular people have beepers too. In this neighborhood, it's the gangbangers and the drug dealers, and I am not gonna let you get your little narrow black ass shot off because you look like one of them. Look, Ma, I got the beepers so I can have some privacy, okay? I mean, you got me sharing a room with him. Sweat everybody who calls me here, and all day at school everybody was dissing me because they think I'm a virgin. Think nothing. You better be. He ain't got much of a choice. Yes, I do. Look, Ma, I got my priorities straight, but you don't want to believe it. You treat me like I'm a little kid or something. I do not. Ma, everybody sees it. Even Ray. He says you're afraid to let me grow up. <clears throat> Well, the, the lad does have a point. Stay out of it, Ray. Don't want to be in it. <laughs> now, you listen to me. As long as I'm paying for the roof over your head, you're going to do like I tell you. Now, give me the beeper. No. Don't play with me, boy. I ain't playing. Give me the damn beeper, Marcus. I'm not Marcus, Ma. Fine. You do what you want. I don't care. I'm through with it. Anything happened to you? I don't want to know about it. If you kids don't cut up that damn racket, you're not going to get any of that food I'm cooking. either the Jehovah's Witnesses or those cookie-pushing Girl Scouts. Either way, somebody's gonna catch a bullet. Go ahead and shoot me, sweets, because I just can't take it. <laughs> all right, girlfriend, you tell me all about it. Excuse me. I have to have a little chat with my friend. <laughs> if you rub my throat, tie out that damn noise, I'm gonna get ugly! Too late! <laughs> Damn smart ass little. You want some kids? Girl, I was about to ask you the same thing. You know what Andre did? He went and got himself a beeper. Now, can you imagine? A black boy in this neighborhood, LAPD everywhere. I mean, why not just carry a sign? I'm young, I'm black, I'm stupid, shoot me. <laughs> what the hell does he need a beeper for? Claims he needs it so his little girlfriends can get a hold of him. Oh, I can see that. Well, face it, Johnny, that boy is fine. Shoot. 
Ray just better mentor some sense into his thick skull because I can't deal with it. And that's another thing. Where does that man get off bringing me flowers every week? Get off? That man is a doctor. I don't know why you don't just give him some, marry him, and call it a day. He doesn't turn me on, sweets. Honey, right now you ought to be worrying about how you're going to turn your lights on. And Tasha? I could just wring her little neck. Slamming things around, bothering me about money for some damn jacket when she knows full well I'm out of work. Tasha knows you're out of work? No, she doesn't, but the child ought to know better. Now, you just slow yourself down a little bit, girlfriend, because you know you're not right. I don't need to slow myself down. There's nothing wrong with me. It's everybody else who's screwed up. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you a fine mess. I don't need this. Goodbye, sweet. I just wish it would all stop for a while, you know? Yes. I do, I do. Come on. Sit. Poor Tasha. All she wanted was a new jacket. And I got mad at her and called her selfish. She's about the least selfish girl in the world. I don't know. I'd give anything to be able to bring her home that jacket tonight. And Andre. I know he thinks I don't trust him, that I treat him like a baby, but what am I supposed to do? When I was arguing with him tonight, suddenly, suddenly all I could think about was Marcus and how I wish to God I had done more to keep him away from those gangbangers. They killed my boy, sweets. Those monsters killed my boy. If I lost Andre, too, I don't... I know. I know. You know, I know. Tell me. You're a beautiful, smart, strong woman. You've got wonderful children who love you... very much. You've been to hell and back and back again, but you've got to believe we can make things change for the better. Because believing that is all we got. And here, I was going to use this to take those little crumb snatchers to the movies, but the hell with them, calling me ugly. <laughs> take it. No. Take it. No. How much is it? <laughs> hey, sweet stuff. Take and put these in the refrigerator for me. And you may take one cookie. I fixed you a plate. Want me to go get it for you? Later. Mm. Okay, if I watch 90210, my homework's all finished. Hey. I put that jacket on layaway for you. Thank you, Mama. Don't be thanking me. You're going to have to keep up the payments. Watching them uppity white folks again? <laughs> Boy, you are getting so big. <laughs> Let the machine pick it up. You know what to do. Peace. Ms. Mosley, this is Bobby Devers from the Ujamaa Co-op. Swing by here tomorrow if you get a chance. I become aware of an opportunity that might help you out with your problem. And see you soon. Hey, Mom, about that beeper. 
We'll talk about it tomorrow, baby.